In this video, we're going to take a look at the effects menu in, in, on the uh, Domo Go Animate Studio website. Uh, I'll give you a preview of what we're starting with here. Uh, it's supposed to be a spooky video. So here he realizes that he's in the future and it is his headstone and then he has a bit of a freak out here. Um, but if we wanted to make this look good, uh, I mean, uh, going from this distance, I mean, we would like to probably zoom in on this uh, grave site and do some sort of weird effect when he is, uh, life is coming apart uh, at the end there. So we're going to use some of the effects here to uh, make it more impressive. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn all of these into widescreen. Uh, so we can widescreen, but then uh, note that this might have an effect on your word bubbles. So you might need to move those around. So uh, I'm going to 16 by 9 everything. Uh, this one and then the final frame. Okay, so uh, going through, uh, we're going to uh, make a few improvements as well. Um, so this is fine, uh, but when we get to the part where uh, it says you on his uh, gravestone, what we would want to do is we want to zoom into that. So I'm going to use the zoom function here. Uh, and here's how this works is um, you uh, can zoom in on an area that you would like to highlight. You can uh, also customize how big this is going to be. So I want to make sure that I get that whole thing in. And then if we preview, uh, you'll see what that looks like. So the widescreen is a little bit of a nice touch here. Uh, zoom in here uh, and the widescreen maintains and then we go back and he's quite upset. Uh, other things that we're going to do here uh, is on the first one we are going to fade in uh, so we'll get a little fade in effect at the beginning. Uh, we are also going to on this last frame on frame 5 uh, where he's clearly quite upset what we're going to do is we're going to make use of a cut so I'm going to click on the cut and the cut will let you, uh, it doesn't zoom in so it's not an animation, but it features uh, just one area of the screen. So I want to zoom or cut so that we get only this location. Uh, other things that I'm going to do here uh, is I'm going to change the background uh, because there's some uh, pretty intense things here. Uh, let's see where something in the domo section there's one that I like uh, so I'll use this swirling chaos here uh, the fact that this still says you over here doesn't matter because it's going to be outside the cut area uh, and we can also use one further effect uh, to shake the frame so let's take a look at what this looks like so here we're going to get a fade in Everything else is pretty much the same. We're going to get the zoom at this point. And probably don't need, need it to last that long, but that's fine. But the ending is uh, definitely more intense than it was. So there are so many different things uh, in the effects panel that you should definitely uh, check them out. I don't feel a, a need to make a nuclear explosion at the end, but there's a lot of black screen. And uh, if I needed a crowd cheering, which I think would be inappropriate at, at this point, uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do. So definitely uh, play around with some of those effects.